My name is Jack Eschenroder and I'm a fisheries biologist with Fish Bio in Santa Cruz. We are currently standing in Coyote Creek, which is a stream that runs through the city of San Jose. We are going to be relocating one of our pit tag antennas on this system, so just moving it upstream a bit. This pit tag antenna is used to detect tagged omicus or uh, steelhead that move in and out of this system. So this is a 23 millimeter tag. This is a fairly large size pit tag. This is a 13 millimeter tag. This is the typical size that would be implanted into a, a baby steelhead smolt or a salmon smolt. So this antenna is powered by a solar array. Uh, that means that we don't have to come out and change batteries. So that makes it pretty self-sufficient. And all the biologists have to do is come out, perform downloads on the data so they can see what fish have been detected moving down the system. This is our antenna frame. Inside of this plastic PVC, there's a loop of wire that runs in a circle. And when fish with a pit tag swim through this antenna or over the top of it, if the water level comes up, uh, that tag will be detected. Pit tags themselves do not have any source of power in them. They don't have a battery, which is convenient because it means they can function for the entire life of a fish. So power running through this uh, antenna will cause a signal from the tag to be received. It will be passed up the cable, running all the way up the hill to our pit tag reader uh, up, up top there, and that passage will be recorded. And we will have information on when that fish past what time and what date uh, they move through this part of the stream. This is a steel cable that we've run across the width of the stream bed. And what this will do is provide support for the antenna frame and, and reinforcement. So if there's higher flows or debris coming down the river, this cable will catch the brunt of that and prevent damage to the antenna frame. Along the edge of our antenna, we have a little marker tag and at regular intervals, it will emit a signal and so when we download our data we can look at when that marker tag was detected and if there are gaps or periods of time where it wasn't we know that there was some interruption to the system but basically that provides a means of, of knowing when the antenna was operational and when it was monitoring this part of the creek and we are testing the read range of the antenna now by having elizabeth uh, wave this tag around both within the antenna loop and above the, the top of the antenna and by doing this and looking at our detections on our pit tag reader up the hill, we can get a better idea of how close a fish would have to swim to this antenna in order to be detected. So the twin axe cable coming from our pit tag reader, which is up in our job box up the hill, runs through this conduit, and that goes all the way down to the stream bank here, uh, where it's attached to the uh, antenna tuner. Inside of this is the tuner that attaches to the pit tag antenna, much like tuning a radio to, to get better reception on a channel, this, this tuner helps our pit tag antenna itself stay in tune. It's got the, the cables from the uh, single reader coming in through this amphenol connector, and then the cables going to the antenna uh, coming out through this connector. We're installing the antenna in this system to learn more about the movement of juvenile omicus, that, it, that being smolts or baby steelhead that are going to move out of these streams and into San Francisco Bay. So by having antennas here and tagging fish in the upper system, we can learn more about when they move out of the system, when they out-migrate to the ocean uh, and begin that smultification process, the process of becoming a steelhead.